context, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig's hair is terrible? Oh, yeah, I know, man. Like. <laughs> oh, what? Hold on. Never mind. I feel so stupid right Sorry, now. Sorry, Ludbuds. <laughs> We're getting into game one, so you can hold your discourse. We've got Monty playing Roy Koopa. As we said, not a bad Koopaling. I'll give it up for Roy Koopa. And going up against Fantasy, bringing out the Corrin, who has been a hot topic as of late. Yeah, especially um, with, uh, you have Spargo, you have Shattuck, you have Neo, just all kind of becoming relevant recently. I feel like they've always been great players, but Corrin becoming relevant a lot more recently. Mm -hmm. um, love the character. I think she's really cool. And it's, I feel like she's been overshadowed with like Kyra Mithra, um, but very happy to see her back in this meta. Late, late meta riser. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like, you know, I mean, at the beginning of the game, she was not the character that she is now. Like, physically, she was not. She did not have the data on the moves that make her what she is now. Mm -hmm. But I think that it took a lot of people uh, time to figure out that, like, hey, I can't just throw out the moves. I can't just run at my opponent and throw out big sword moves the way that a lot of other sword characters in this game can. I have to be very precise with my movement because Corrin is a slower character, and I have to be very choosy about how I try to lock down my opponent because if I... Go in a position where I'm guessing wrong, I can get reversal pretty quickly, right? Mm -hmm. I can lose the corner, they can get it, I can get tossed off stage. That's what we saw Monty take advantage of right there, taking that first stock with Fantasy so far, keeping it close. All right, we're seeing a lot of the side B from, uh, from Monty. It's going to be a really good burst tool, and it also has a lot of confirms that can take stocks as well. If you confirm it into the up B, that can be a really great way to uh, confirm a stock off of someone. Tries to go for up throw into back air. Oh, doesn't send down like I expected, mm -hmm. though. And so um, Fantasy able to hold on to that stock despite being in a pretty perilous situation off stage. Yeah, the, the down air from the Koopalings, that final hit will send you kind of up into the side. But if you're able to drift away from your opponent before that final hit, it will do a little bit of a semi-spike. It will send them down. And that could have been a really bad spot for Fantasy to be in. But they do get a second lease on life. They do get that forward smash to take Roy Koopa off the top despite just hitting in that clown cart, that chainsaw, putting in some work. Back air seems to be really good for Monty as well for walling out a lot of the space that we typically see Corrin use. She's using like a lot of um, falling there and fair to cover spaces and it also has really good frame data. But if you're able to just wall out with that back air, it's going to make approaching with Corrin a lot harder. Ooh, okay. Really nice sequence there from Monty. I love that. Yeah, going pretty even and neutral, it feels like, but every time they're off stage, Monty is just so good at capitalizing off of opportunities and finding those back airs to seal up the stocks. Ooh. I'm really liking the way that actually Fantasy is playing around the, the cart in a lot of these situations. And I can talk about Fantasy as Monty builds on 54% yeah. with just that up air combo to carry you into the corner. But I, I feel like Fantasy has done a really good job of, you were mentioning it, controlling space, right? Not being too overcommittal, just kind of getting caught out, not having hitboxes out at the right times uh, a couple of spots where Monty's been able to turn it into big damage. And I think that the, the combos have been the big difference thus far. Ooh, that was a little scary there. Yeah, I think trying to catch um, Monty landing with up air is going to be a really good tool for Fantasy. Just a huge hitbox, um, but haven't really seen a lot of opportunities for it most of the time. Um, Monty's approaching from like a horizontal angle, and so um, just trying to jump over him when he's approaching might be beneficial if we see like full hops instead of trying to short hop. Ooh, is that oh, the yeah. double jump gone? It is, and Monty. Saying, I'm kind of nice. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I'm kind of nice. Got that edge guard twice in a row. Same way with that forward error. He did look pretty clean that game one. Yeah, for sure. Did not miss an opportunity to get that back air off stage. And as Corrin, there's not really much you can really do about it. Um, you're kind of trapped in that angle that you're going for. You might be able to use your jump, but a lot of the time it was getting clipped by the Koopa Wing. So, or the, is that what it's called? The little the little guy that he throws? The little Mecha Koopa. Mecha Koopa. Or Jerry. As Jerry? Reese that's Sheath that's likes to even call better. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry. Koopling you got Jerry and Funny Ball. Funny Bald? Funny Ball. The neutral oh. oh, okay. But specifically the Funny Ball. Funny Ball. When you say Funny Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and man, you want to talk about it. There's nothing funny about that. 90% right out of the gate in just 15 seconds. Again, I feel like that's been one of the big difference makers in this matchup so far between these two players is that Monty's damage output has been really, really high per hit. Like, it hasn't just been chipping away. It's been, hey, I know my combo starters, and I'm going to get big stuff going. Yeah, lots of knockback on that multi-jab from Roy, so I have to be careful about that. Was a little bit towards center stage and um, wasn't at 
complete. Oh, oh the stage spike with the cart. Really good stuff there from Monty. Yeah, I think that might have been a, a big mistake from Fantasy. Probably looking for like a drop down back here, but instead got the up air. And then putting you in a ton of end lag, wasn't ready for that cart to bounce him against the stage. And again, here's Monty at these early percentages just saying, hey, I'm busting down your door. I'm getting you immediately into these percents where I can get a straight hit that'll knock you off stage. And then we have seen what happens when this card goes off stage. That forward air, right, can contest with that up B. So Fantasy burning those dragon wings very early on just to make sure that that's not even a thing to contest with. Great. Using that fair off of ledge, able to find the backer to take that first stock too. Really good stuff there to Fantasy. Still sitting at 98% though, and doesn't have platforms to retreat away from this Koopaling that's running right at him. So I have to be super careful here. Tries to catch with the up air instead. And again, just really good neutral here. Dashing back and forth, looking for an opening, not just overextending and running right into the back air, but still able to find it there at the ledge. Just as you speak it into existence, right? I know, right my bad. <laughs> right into the back air, commentator's curse. But I, I do like what you're pointing out there with Fantasy, right? Is that I think that Fantasy's neutral has looked really good at times, and it's when they're committed to staying a bit more grounded, right? Using those dash dances, not trying to take up too much space all at once, or committing to a big move, because we've seen Monty is willing to go towards Fantasy, and Fantasy's been reacting to a lot of the stuff like the Clown Cart really well, and look at that right there, using that down air to reset that offstage situation, instead of trying to go for something like an up air to juggle, says, I want that ledge trap because I feel like it's more likely for me to finish the stock by going for that. Mm -hmm. All right, just playing super patient here, trying to use that back air again, able to use the pin to kill off of the top, and we're both on last stock here. You saw that kick hit Roy Koopa directly in the head as well, right? <laughs> so getting that extra knockback and everything. I mean, it is a big target, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big head looking ass. Ooh, okay, able to get the clown card, but not able to get the follow-up. Again, I really like the way that we're canceling it there and then using the back air to catch um, jumping, like trying to jump and get the punish off of it. Mm -hmm. um, but this can be scary here at the ledge. She's just a full hop over. And now Fantasy just hit with the straight hit off stage. Just really struggling to get back to center here. Does finally get back down with the down air. Pin was a bit committal. You're getting forked off stage. Nice positioning on the Mecha Koopa. And again, the forward air. What else would close it out? Monty looking nice in that game too. Fantasy keeping it close the whole way through. There was a lot to like about that gameplay, but Monty, that punish game was just on point the entire set. Especially off stage, just so good at those edge guards and sealing out those stocks. Um, it really felt like Fantasy just wasn't able to make it back to stage consistently. And that's so important when you're playing a character like Corrin because she's so vulnerable off stage. Um, when you have that large hitbox on back air, it's gonna be really hard to bob and weave around that. So really good stuff there to Monty. Um, and again, Indiana, another Indiana player. So everybody popped off after that too. Very happy about their, their buddy winning, especially after just watching a loss from their, um, their homie too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Monty cleaning things up again. Like you said, off stage game looked great. On stage game looked great. We did see from Fantasy again, like I feel like there were moments where that neutral was great. Uh, when he stayed committed to like being on the ground, being reactive, trying to cover some space, but you know sometimes just a little bit predictable in how those approaches went. Monty was able to mm -hmm. take advantage of that, and uh, again, you know I've said it like four or five times at this point, but I feel like the punish game was the really big defining factor in that set. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the FD counter pick for stage though. I feel like platforms would have been beneficial. Um, I imagine that Monty probably banned Battlefield, but even having like a Hollow Bastion or a Smashville to where you can retreat to the platform, get away from the uh, the Mecha Koopa being thrown at you and the, the clown car on the ground, just being able to go to the platform instead might be a little bit more beneficial. But um, at the end of the day, I think, again, it just really came down to Monty's great punish game, great new